Please rise and stand for the singing of the national anthem. This is something we have all heard at sporting events, but do you really know who created the actual song? Uh, my name is Francis Scott Key. I was born on August 1st, 1779 on a small farm in Maryland. I married Mary Tola on January 1st, 1802. I was inspired to write the song during the War of 1812 as I watched the British bomb Fort McHenry. I was on a small American cruise ship that was captured by the British. As I watched the battle through the night, he, I was relieved to see that the American flag was still waving in the early sun the next morning. The picture of the battle inspired me to put this song, the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof of the night that our flag was still there. On January 1st, 1843, at my daughter's home in Baltimore, Maryland, I died at the age of 63 years old. Okay. Hello, I'm Pocahontas. I was born in 1595 in Chesapeake Bay, now Virginia. I, when I was 15 years old, my uncle captured John Smith and had a plan to kill him, so I jumped in and saved his life. After that, my people decided to adopt him into our tribe. In 1613, I was officially baptized a Christian, and I was kidnapped by Englishmen on a ship. In 1614, I sailed to England and married John Roth, and received the English name Rebecca. And a year later, I had a son named Thomas. In 1617, I got ill from London's air and died at the age of 21. I was buried at St. George Church in England as my sister took care of Thomas. I was one of the most famous Native Americans in history. Thank you for listening to my speech. Hi, my name is Theodore Genzel, also known as Dr. Seuss. I was born March 2nd, 1904 in Springfield, Massachusetts. I'm a writer. I've written 44 children's books and two adult books. My most popular books are Cat in the Hat and Greenies and Hat. You might have read these books. It wasn't easy being a writer during the Great Depression. And my books were rejected by many publishers at first. I also worked in Hollywood writing screenplays, but writing books was my favorite. A friend gave me a challenge to write a book to help with children's literacy. That book was, was The Cat in the Hat. Then I continued to succeed with my writing career. I died September 24, 1991 in Lagala, California. Thank you for watching. Have you ever heard of a female pilot? Well, that's me. Hello, my name is Amelia Earhart. I was born July 24, 1897 in Atchison, Kansas. Something you might not know about me is that I was a nurse in World War I. In 1928, I became the first woman to fly over the Atlantic as a passenger. In 1932, I became the first woman to fly over the Atlantic as a soloist. I held the world record for being the first person to fly from Hawaii to the U.S. mainlands. I was soon practicing for my, for my flight to circumnavigate the globe. On June 1st, 1937, at the age of 39, I took off for my long flight around the world. Unfortunately, my plane crashed in the Pacific Ocean and I was pronounced dead on July 2nd, 1937. Thank you for listening to my life speech. Hello, my name is Elvis Presley. I was born on January 8th, 1935, and lived in... Tupelo, Mississippi, and later moved with my parents to Memphis, Tennessee. During my life, people just think I sang, but that's not all. I also fought in the Korean War and did work for the FBI. I went to, I left the U.S. to go to the Korean War and luckily came back alive. Whenever I was working for the FBI, I went out in the streets and caught drug dealers. That on, I married Priscilla Presley, and later we had a child named Lisa Marie Presley. We divorced, and I got I had, shortly before I died, I had a fiance named Ginger Olden. On August 16th, 1977, I died slumped over in my bathroom in Graceland. Thank you for listening to my speech. Hello, my name is Annie Oakley. I was born on August, on August 13th, 1860 in Dark County, Ohio. I am most well known for being the first female sharpshooter in the United States. 
Some interesting facts about me are that is I is that I started hunting as a young child to help support, to help provide for my family in poverty. I, I my first successful shot when I was just eight years old. I was also in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show in 1885. I sadly died on November on November third. 1926 in Greenville, Ohio. Thank you for listening to my life story. I'm Ulysses S. Grant, and I'm going to tell you my story. On April 27, 1822, I was born in Georgetown, Ohio. When I was a boy, people made fun of my name and called me useless. But as I got older, useless was nothing compared to me. In fact, I became one of the most important and brightest people in U.S. history. I grew up in a family of eight and was the oldest out of six kids. I found love in horses and worked at my neighbor's stables when I was a kid. Later in my life, I would go to West Point, military academy. I would then marry Julia Grant before moving on and fighting in the Mexican War. The next war was the Civil War. I was interested in fighting, also applied to run a regional state. I got denied a couple times as I, I was in the military for a while, but eventually got it. I would, I would lead my army that grew over time to many battles and would not stand down to most of them. During the war, I would be named Unconditional Surrender for saying, no terms will be accepted except unconditional and immediate surrender. The Civil, the Civil War was hard and brutal, but on April 9, 1865, the Confederates surrendered. After the war, people not, people not made me president for two terms. My, when my presidency ended, I lost almost all my money and had cancer. I raced against cancer to write a biography about me. This was the last battle I fought and died on July 23, 1885. Hello, my name is Booker T. Washington. I was born on April 5th, 1856 at Hills Ford, Virginia. I was once a slave. I was freed after the Civil War. I became an important black community leader. I started the Tuskegee Institute. I was the first African American in the White House. Besides servants, I had three wives and three kids. I adopted my wife's niece. I worked at my school 25 years until I died on November 13th. 1950, I was buried at my school two days after I died. Hi, my name is Colin Plough. I was born on April 5th, 1937, and I had a mom named Marmalade Arrow McCook, and a dad named Theologus Plough. I'm important for being the 65th United States Secretary of State, and I'm born, another thing I'm important for is being a four-star general for the Army. Something that is interesting about me is that I was an army school teacher and and I can't remember. Okay. Have you ever take Taking a large plane for family vacation. If you have, there's a chance it's been, you have been on one of my companies manufactured. Hi, I'm William Boeing. I was born in October, Saturday, October 1st, 1881, in Detroit, Michigan. I have two sisters named Caroline Boeing and Kachin and Kachin Boeing. I married Bertha Potter Mich Michelle in 1921. We had two children together named Nathan and Crimson. I am famous for building planes for the United States military for World War I and World War II. I also built boat planes that allowed you to travel across the ocean. What you may recognize me the most for is the Boeing, is my Boeing 707. This is a, a large passenger jet plane that I created in the 1950s. My, men, my company, Boeing, is the world's largest aerospace company and leading manufacturer of the commercial jetliners in the world. I died on my yacht. Hey, both of you, shut your mouths. 
named Taconite from a heart attack in September 1956. Hi, my name is Harry Houdini. I was born March 24th, 1817 in Budapest, Hungary. I'm known for being a magician and escaping from many, many things, including handcuffs, coffins, straitjackets, and more. I have one, I have two siblings, my brother Dash, my sister Gotti, my mother Cecilia, and my father Rabbi. I wanted to be a magician since I was seven years old, and finally at the age of 17, I became a ma magician and started doing magic shows with my brother, Dash. Sadly, at the, uh, sadly October 31st, 1926, in Detroit, Michigan, I, I died. Thank you for listening to my presentation. What'd you give giggles for? Hi, my name is Sajona Chuth. I was born in 1797 on a farm near Houston in New York. I was born a child of slavery. My parents are Elizabeth and Jane Barsley. I had 10 siblings being the second youngest. I only ever knew my brother Peter because the rest was sold when I was young. I'm known for my speeches about God and I could stop farmers from their work and preach to them about God's work. Um, I was sold to the Neelys in 1808 when my slave owner died for $100 and a flock of sheep. There I met um, my husband, Thomas. Where I, we had, in 12 years of being married, we had four daughters and one son. I'm also known for um, being one of the first black women in the United States to win a lawsuit. I fired the lawsuit against my son's slave owner when he wouldn't let him go free after an proclamation came. Emancipation proclamation? Yeah. Um, I published a book in 1827. Then I had enough money to build a house in Battle Creek, Michigan, where I died November 26, 1883. Okay. Thank Greetings, fellow Americans. I, my name is Norman Rockwell. I was a famous painter. Some of my most famous paintings were the Four Freedoms. The Four Freedoms were the were some paintings with American rights on them. I was born on February third, eighteen ninety four, in New York City. I had one sibling. His name was Jarvis Waring Jr. In school, I wasn't very popular or athletic. I, at one point, I tried to join the army, but they turned me away at first. I had three wives, Irene O'Connor, Molly Punderson, and Mary Barstow. I also had three kids, Thomas, Peter, and James. Painting. Another interesting fact is that all three of my wives were school teachers. I died on, Fe or on November 8, 1978. Have you ever seen a green or yellow tractors in the fields before or in by your house? Those popular uh, farming equipment. Uh, farming equipment. Made deep from from my business from John or from my business John Deere. Hello, I'm John Deere. I was born on February 17, 18, I had five brothers and sisters. I married. Demarest Lamb in 1837. We had a large family with with nine children. In 1837, I invented the self-securing plow. It this this securing this plow made farming easier in the Midwest. It allowed the soil from 
from the cloud to fall off and no and farmers no longer no longer had to stop the plow to clean clean the clean dirt off the plow. My invention was a huge huge my invention was a huge turning point in the farming of Wedgeford expand during the 1830s. Um, this plow forever changed forever changed the far, farming industry. Because of my farming inventions, it allowed to me to create a business you have probably heard it called John Deere. I died on May 17, 1886. Okay. Thank you. Welcome to the wonderful world of Walt Disney. You may know me for my amazing amusement park, but there's much more to me than that. I was born on December 5th, 1901, in Chicago, Illinois. My mother was a, was a teacher, but she gave up her teaching career to raise her five children. My father was a farmer, but he got sick with the typhoid fever and died on September 13th, 1941. I am most famous for creating the glamorous amusement parks and Mickey Mouse. I'm also, I also constructed the... <laughs> I created the first full-length animated film. I worked with my brother Roy and he was my business partner. Unfortunately I had a bad habit of smoking so and I got lung cancer and died on December 15th, 1966. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hello, my name is Sitting Bull. I was born in 1831. You probably know me for the brave and crazy Indian who never listened to the United States law. My mother was her holy door and my father was Jumping Bull. I was a proud father of two children and had a brother named Spotted Oak, or otherwise referred to as Bigfoot. I never surrendered to the United States until 1881 and until I was brought to the Indian Standing Rock Indian Reservation and then killed in, 19, in 1890 in a shootdown. Thank you for listening to my speech. Hi, my name is Sally K. Wright. I was born on May 26, 1951. People also, wait, <laughs> I was born in Los Angeles, California, and I used to live in Edmond, California. I am famous for being the first American woman in space. People also know me because I was 32 years old and the youngest astronaut in space. My mom's name is Joyce and my dad's name is Dale. I also have a sister named Karen. When I was younger, I loved, I had a really big passion for tennis. I actually played on the school, my school's tennis team. Um, my mom was a teacher and my dad was a professor. Because of that, they took me and my sister on an educational vacation to Europe. When I, when I came back to Edgno for school, I actually, I moved up a grade because I was really smart. When I saw the advertisement that NASA was accepting people, I threw the thought of having a tennis career out the window. I applied for NASA and a little later, NASA accepted me along with five woman and 29 other men. We got accepted out of 8,000 other, other people. When I was working at NASA, I met this guy named Steve Hawley. We got married in 1982 and I later divorced him on May 14, 1987. I launched on June 18, 1983 and, ar and arrived back on Earth in 1984. Sadly, at the age of 61, on July 23rd, 2012, I died to the cause of pancreatic cancer. Thank you for listening to my life story.